Hi, in this video we're going to show you a uh, nice way to check all your open ports on your computer uh, using a graphical user interface. So normally if you want to do such a thing, you could use the netstat command uh, from a command prompt. As you can see here, it you know, shows you IP addresses, service name, uh, port numbers, and so on. But it's kind of hard to read and go through. And if you want to save it, it's not going to be very uh, easy to do. So to help out with that, we have a little program here called Current Ports. So it's a free download, just a zip file, you extract it, nothing to install, then you just uh, run the cports exe, and then it'll show you everything you got going on your computer, and all kinds of information, different columns here, process names, IDs, protocols, ports, addresses, remote addresses, remote host names, uh, bytes sent and received, product names, process path, descriptions, versions, all kinds of stuff here. And then, of course, you could sort it on column, too, if you want to sort by ports, sort by address, by name. And then, of course, you could do stuff like, you know, filter, uh, search. So, so if we do for FTP, for example. So you can see we've got an FTP session going right here. And so a lot of options here for the way things are displayed and sorted. Uh, view options, if you want to show the grid lines to make it easier to read. Uh, mark uneven rows. If you want to export the information, you know, select the items or everything into an HTML report. If you want to adjust the columns, if you don't need everything, you could uh, uncheck what you don't need and move them around. Uh, font options, uh, copying, addresses, uh, close uh, selected connections, kill processes. I ch check the properties of uh, certain connections. Some advanced options there. So a lot of stuff you could do. So it's a nice way if you know if this is something you do often, always check in your open ports. It's a nice way to be able to sort and filter it out and you know kill stuff as needed. So I'll put a link in the description for where you could download the tool and then you could uh, try it out for yourself and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>